deal with snow and ice on the roads in different countries? Which method is the safest and which is the cheapest? Right now, in our review, what can artificial intelligence think of? Find out at the end of this video. Subscribe to our channel to know more about technology and heavy equipment. In some cities in Japan, roads are washed with water. Special water sprinkles are built into the road. Snow melts quickly, water does not have time to turn into ice. The use of reagents is prohibited in the country. Salt sodium chloride is allowed only on high-speed highways to avoid accidents, because studded tires are also banned in Japan. experience of Iceland is the use of the water of hot natural springs for heating roads and pedestrian zones. In Iceland, the main source of heat and electricity is geothermal sources with their help, residential buildings and offices are heated. In addition, water is used to melt snow. The pipes throw which hot water enters the houses are laid under the roads along the streets. This allows you not to use reagents, sand and even snow plows. Ice and snow simply melt. Thus, the provision of homes with energy as well as snow removal in Iceland occur in an environmentally friendly and natural way. In the Scandinavian countries, the use of the reagent was abandoned because of this harm to the environment. Here utilities do not clean the snow to the asphalt, but leave a layer of several centimeters. It's rolled with the help of a special technique and sprinkled with granite chips or gravel. This method does not get rid of ice, but improves traction. The materials are used repeatedly. In the spring, granite and gravel are collected with special vacuum cleaners, washed and taken to warehouses where they are stored until the next winter. In Sweden, sand mixed with hot water is scattered on rammed snow. This allows good grip for a long time. However, such a mixture cannot be reused. During heavy snowfalls in Finland, municipal utilities attract the population to clear snow. After a brief training, they receive the equipment and clean small areas of the urban areas themselves. Snow cover, especially in cities, contains many harmful chemical substances. In addition, reagents are still used in many countries. Snow melts and in the form of water enters the fields, into the water supply system, etc. Therefore, uncontrolled melting of snow can lead to sad consequences, violation of the environment, harm to our health. Therefore, 
It's very important to remove it in time and dispose of it. A snow dump is the easiest and most economical way to dispose of snow masses. This method does not require the use of expensive heating equipment and installation of drain drains. Just choose the sites to place the snow. Sites are located away from agriculture, land and residential buildings. Melting occurs naturally under the influence of the sun and air temperature. The disadvantages of a snow dump are a long melting period and soil pollution. But most often the snow mass, which is removed from the roads, is disposed of at snow melting points. Snow melting points are stationary and mobile. Stationary snow melters are placed on several collectors. The principle of operation of snow melting station is quite simple. Snow is loaded into a special chamber, where it's brought to a certain temperature with the help of turbines, after which the snow melts. The resulting water enters the chamber, where it is cleaned of debris and sent to the server. The operation temperature when melting snow is plus 2 degrees. In 3 minutes the installation is able to process about 10 tons of frozen precipitation. The advantage of such installations of their mobility for the operation of mobile station a drain or storm sewer is necessary. One melting unit depending on the modification can dispose of from 1 to 1000 cubic meters. To melt snow masses mobile snow melters use diesel fuel.